Thank you, Olivia. Buenos dias. Good morning. So it is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker. She is one of our six outstanding students that received the IME becas last year. Uh, Areli, she's a graduating senior, and she will tell you a little bit more about her. But I'm very proud to announce that she got accepted into grad school program. She got accepted into the Master's in Fine Arts at Columbia University. So please welcome Areli to the podium. Hello, thank you everyone. Um, oh, wow. um, when I first learned that I'd been awarded the Imbebeca Scholarship, I thought I'd, I had it all figured out. I would learn about cotton, I would work with my mentor, I would understand the relationship between water and lands. But in reality, I had no idea what was about to happen. I could talk to you about working with my mentor and what a great opportunity it is to work with someone whom you admire and who's outstanding in their field. I could talk to you about the financial aid, which is always welcome as a middle class student. Or I could talk to you about the wonderful sense of community that arises from working with a lot of talented people. But what I really want to talk about is about those moments when it's midnight and everything's going wrong and you're doubting yourself and you're thinking, I, I can't do this. I'm just a first generation Mexican girl. Because those are the moments that hold the most value when you're, you've done presenting your research and you see everyone and you think, I am just a first generation Mexican student and I did this and I can do more. And I think that's the greatest asset of Imebecas is breaking down the narrative of the mediocre Mexican. It's redefining the label of minority. It's giving you a bag of tools and telling you, here, this is for you. I believe in you. Thank you. <laughs> 